Hello, you guys! What's up? Welcome back to my channel. Just getting in for the night, and I thought it'd be really fun to follow the trend of um, these in-depth routines I've been doing. I did an in-depth morning routine about a month ago, and you guys loved it. So I thought we'd do an in-depth night routine. It's a Monday night, and Monday nights are like some of my favorites. Cause it's like, yes, Sunday you really prepare for the week ahead, but also Monday nights are really, really nice as well. And I usually have them to myself and they're just so lovely. So I just got back. I went for a walk cause I hadn't left my apartment. I'd been doing emails all day. So I went to the seaport, um, like Fidei area. And I just sat by the water and then walked up and down. It was so nice, so healing. I listened to like Taylor Swift and Olivia Rodrigo. I don't know what was coming over me. And then on my way back, I stopped by the grocery store and got a couple things. So yeah, I'm gonna take you guys along my in-depth night routine. So by this, I mean like very into detail, specific things that I do, not as aesthetic, not as like, montage more like okay so this is what I do so typically on Mondays Brooke and I record the podcast so it's kind of an all-day thing so then the evenings I kind of just want to like wind down and relax and cook for myself do some self-care and just really prepare for the week ahead which I know you're like what Sunday but like I don't know something about Mondays I'm just like this is the mindset that I'm getting myself into for the rest, for the rest of the week so tonight felt like a night to cook for myself so I'm gonna make this salad that my mom's boyfriend always makes. I think it's called like chicken milanese technically, but like we have our own little spin on it. I got some baguette bread, it just had to happen. But basically it's like breaded chicken with arugula and mozzarella and tomatoes and it is so delicious. I got some cantaloupe as a snack, one of my favorites. Been into bacon in the morning. But yeah, I had to get breadcrumbs. We're like doing the whole bit. Ryan might come over later and cook with me. He um, inquired about that earlier. Mm, this looks so good. I'm like hungry right now. Never go grocery shopping hungry. Um, right, and then we put Italian dressing over top. It's so good. So good, so good. I got some avocados. Got the arugula, got some flour, obviously. Yeah, so first things first, when I come in for the night, I thankfully left my apartment pretty clean. I had some laundry drying. I did most of my laundry already this weekend, so that's great. But we're gonna cultivate the vibes, which means you guys already know, lighting the candles. This is the candle I have on my coffee table right now. It's called Mercer Street, um, inspired by Mercer Street in New York City. It's by the brand The Coop. I love her candles so much. This one is musk, jasmine, vetiver root, and patchouli. Very my vibe. I also like how it's a black candle because when the candles get the black around the rims on clear, you can tell, but on a black, you would never know, which I know is so bad. And I should be better at cutting my wicks, but either way, like how lovely. And then this candle I have over here is called Dozen Roses by DW Home. So we have a little rose, we've got a little patchouli going, just two different candles. I just love the vibe they give. I'm gonna put away all of my groceries and then we're gonna get a little bit more comfortable and get ready for our night routine together. To my bathroom we go. I just took off my sweatshirt, just put the groceries away. Um, so I've been out and about and I feel like my face is just kind of grimy. Sometimes I shower, like I'll shower like twice a day. Um, I feel pretty clean in that regard so I don't think I'm going to shower but um, I recently got my bathroom organized by Twice As Organized. They're amazing. So this is my little medicine cabinet here. I'm gonna use these um, Naturally Serious Cold Press Peel Pads. I love them just to kind of cleanse my face of the day, if that makes any sort of sense. And then we'll also do the Laneige Lip Mask. And we'll do skincare before I go to bed, but I don't know, I just like, typically around this time I have makeup on. So I'm like taking off my makeup, doing that whole thing. Maybe I'll do a mask. But right now, we're just gonna cleanse my face because I didn't wear makeup today. I love these press peel heads, they're amazing. I've bought so many of these before. They're just amazing, they're so refreshing. They smell really good, they just smell like you're at a spa. Which, I mean, you can't complain. Also, this is from a birthday I was at and it still won't come off. I'm gonna spray a little bit of this Ella Lou's All Day Beauty Water on. Because why not? I love just lathering my skin and stuff. 
Mm, smells so good. And then the Laneige lip mask. I bought this lip brush on Amazon because I hate putting my finger in this. My fingers get all sticky from the lip mask. So this has solved all my problems. Yeah, so we're nice and refreshed. I'll even romanticize my evening and put on a little perfume. Because why not? This is one of my new favorite perfumes right now. Le Labo Noir. Te Noir. It's, it means black tea. And that sounds kind of really random, but it's so good. I can't describe the scent. You just have to go and smell it at Le Labo. Um, it's amazing. I'm just putting everything back. One thing I've learned, like with organizing, you have to stick to it. Like, I had my closet helped, they helped me organize it and I need to stick to the routine, otherwise there's just no point. So I'm really trying to do that. I also like to try and keep my apartment as clean as possible. And the only thing I found to really, really work and help is when I see something, like pick it up, like just be very mindful about things. So like, that's a package I just got from the package room. But, so this was some uh, white laundry that I did and I was letting them dry. So now they're dry and I'm just gonna put them away because then my table will be nice and clear. What else? Oh, I, during the winter, I've had this really bad habit of just letting my um, jackets pile all over all of my chairs. But being intentional, I know this sounds silly, but it will change your life. Being intentional, I get home, I hang it back on the hanger, I put it where it's supposed to go. So like when I get dressed, I take off the jacket, off the hanger, and I put the hanger right here. So I'm like, okay, it's ready for me. Like, just put it on, and I don't know. It's just a system I found to be helpful. Yay, now we are set up for success. I'm gonna unbox that box, I think it's PR. And then lastly, I'm just gonna put away, these are a ton of white socks and some white shirts that are finely dry and put them away so I have a clear space here. So, I'm gonna show you guys my little situation here. This is where I keep all of my like tiny little crop tops, tank tops, leggings, um, biker shorts, sports bras. So this is kind of the system we have. These are like long sleeves, short sleeves. Actually, they're kind of a little bit of a mix, but like I was saying before, I try to stick to, like when I'm putting away my laundry, not just shoving it in because then the whole system is ruined when it's such a great system. I watch them do it. So they fold one in, the other in, and then they roll. Obviously, I'm never gonna do it as good as them, but then it's like just in this little pocket pouch and then I look for where there's space, which is right here. And I just put that puppy in. And then he's with the others. <laughs> so I'm just gonna do that for all of these. And then my area will be nice and clean, as you can see. And then we can actually start cooking. So, I try to cook for myself, especially in the beginning of the week, because I feel like as the weekend approaches, especially living in New York City, plans pop up, people want to go to dinner, it's just like a big way of socializing here. And then I just like haven't cooked for myself that week, and you're probably like, okay, so I find it really therapeutic, well also it's less expensive, but it's just so therapeutic, there's something to be said for like putting on some good music, I love jazz music, I'm about to put on some right now, lighting a candle, this is like my kitchen candle that I light only when I'm cooking or if I'm like making a home cooked meal. There's no scent or anything. It's from Crate and Barrel. I just love the vibe it gives. Um, chopping vegetables, you know, cooking. It's just really therapeutic for me. It's soothing. I love it. It's helped me actually when I'm anxious just to like cut up things and <laughs> that sounds crazy, but I don't know. It's something that I found to be really soothing. So. Tonight, I, when I have ample time, which I'm really thankful for, I cook for myself. So yeah, I'm gonna start pulling everything out. Ryan's gonna help me. He's usually on chicken duty or meat duty. So um, we're gonna bread some chicken. I got some breadcrumbs, some flour, um, and we're just gonna have a little time. So Alexa, play Frank Sinatra. This is Frank Sinatra from Spotify. <laughs> Ryan's here, he's on <laughs> flattened chicken duty. I'm setting up the little stations here. We're doing the full thing. Just finished breading all the chicken. We're learning how to fry. It's going well. Oh my God, it's so good. So now I'm gonna start um, chopping up the tomatoes and the mozzarella and preparing like the salad base. I'm so excited. Just chopped up the fresh mozzarella and the tomatoes. I just chopped them up, put them back in. I'm gonna put the baguette in the oven just to warm it up a little bit. Final product, we've got the arugula, mozzarella, chicken, tomato, with a little Italian dressing on top. 
I also just zested them both with a little lemon. Let's dig in. All right, Ryan just left. The, the dinner was so good. Um, and we hung out for a little bit. We showed each other some funny TikToks. Ryan just got a TikTok and he understands why people like it now. Um, so he was showing me some funny ones. We just cleaned up. Meals like that are so delicious, but your kitchen is a complete mess, so he helped me, thankfully, um, clean it all up. It looks pretty good in here, considering I literally just like breaded chicken and we fried. I love this um, Mrs. Meyers multi-surface everyday cleaner. I just spray it on the counters. It cleans like a charm. We love it. This is my favorite time of night after I've eaten my dinner. I'm a night worker, weirdly enough. Like for some reason I can't always focus in the daytime just because it's so nice outside or it's sunny, I just wanna be outside. So midday I usually like take a break from work and I'm so thankful that I obviously can do that and then I kinda of get back to it after dinner. I don't know why but I just have, I don't know, I just like to get things done. I like to sit on my couch, my blue light glasses on and just get stuff done. So I have some emails to do. Um, we're gonna do the full skincare routine and everything, but while I do all this, I like to have a comfort show on. Um, and by that I mean like a show that I'm not, that I've seen before, preferably many times. So like if I walk into the other room, I'm not thinking anything of it. I'm not missing anything because I already know. So for that, for me, that is Gossip Girl, the original. Um, I've just been playing that while I'm doing stuff around my apartment. Here and sleep on this couch. We love it. Back to the bathroom we go. Um, I just took off my clothes for the day and I just put my sweatshirt back on. I don't have any pants on. This is probably what I'm gonna sleep in later. So I've been really into putting my hair in this bun. It's nothing crazy, it's just, this is a specific night routine, so I'm showing you guys what I do literally every night. So I literally washed my hair yesterday, but it's just a little oily up front. And the more I touch my hair, the more it obviously gets greasy. So I am just going to spray a little dry shampoo. This is the Living Proof um, Advanced Clean Dry Shampoo. And I'm just spraying it, mainly in the front, obviously. Rubbing it in a little bit, but not all the way because <laughs> all the way. I flip my hair over and I look, I kind of just treat it as if I'm about to put my hair in a ponytail and then I just do a little bun, literally just a bun. I don't know why I'm like explaining it to you guys like it's some revolutionary thing. Um, but I find it causes the least amount of creasing because if you did like the true bun, like the ballerina bun, it like creases, but this way, the dry shampoo is soaking up a little bit. I'm gonna wash my hands. Um, and my hair's out of my face, so I can just like do shit around my apartment, you know? This is the soap I've got in my bathroom these days. It's Aesop. I went to the store the other day and I like washed my hands. The guy was so fun. We like played around. It was a good time. That sounded weird. <laughs> you guys know what I mean. Like it was it's fun when you go and like try it all out. So this is the mandarin, rosemary, and cedar one, and so I got the matching lotion. So I put a little lotion on my hands. All right. Locking up my door for the night. Very important, especially living alone. And like I said, I have Gossip Girl on. I'm gonna just come over here and grab my computer and my planner with all the stuff I wanted to get done. Also grabbing some blue light glasses. I just keep all of my little tech stuff in this top drawer here, so we'll wear these tonight. I also have my emotional support water bottle here. I'm trying to drink more water. Got my computer, so I'm just gonna get a ton of stuff done. I have some things to plan for this week content-wise. Have some stuff to do for the podcast on my computer. Respond to some emails. Um, sometimes I like doing emails at night because then the next morning people wake up and it's like right there for them. Um, everyone has their own little email tactics, I feel like. So yeah, I'm just gonna do some work here for a little bit. I'll check in with you guys soon. Laptop has been shut. I feel like I got a lot done. I'm gonna go over here and plug it in. Got a whole little situation right here. I just got this Smeg kettle because I've been drinking a lot of tea lately, so it's so nice just to have hot water. So I'm just gonna get that water going. We're gonna make some sleepy time tea. I pretty much drink sleepy time tea every night. Um, not always on the weekends, I guess, but it's just such a lovely way to wind down. I love the taste of it. I add just like a little splash of milk 
and I just, it, it's kind of like my nightcap. I know the, the day is over. While the water's heating up, I'm just gonna change my light bulbs to the red setting. Um, they say the red light allows you to release melatonin, which makes you sleepy. Um, so I'm just setting the mood for that. Um, on my nightstand here, I have my hatch alarm. I love waking up to it. Oh my god, it's 11-11, make a wish. Coaster, my Kindle I'm gonna read tonight for sure. My little crystal that protects me. <laughs> and essential oil, some eucalyptus, so. Yep, ooh, ow. <laughs> I'm gonna put my blinds all the way down. It's a good vibe in here, right? I think my water's just about ready. And then I literally just put like a dash of half and half in there. Um, I don't know, I just like the consistency it gives it. I love using this spoon my mom gave me. It says she believes she could, so she did on it. How sweet. Mix it around a little bit, let it brew, voila. And then while I'm doing all these things, getting ready for bed, I'll usually play um, one of these frequencies. So, I'm gonna do positive energy. Actually, no, I'll do healing meditation music. Um, and it's just really calming kind of spa music. It's good for you, apparently. I don't know, it relaxes me. Time for some nighttime skincare. I'm gonna use a little bit of this Pure AM Gl Super Glow Dew Serum. This stuff is perfect for if you like to gua sha, or jade roll, or use any sort of facial tools, it allows the tool to like really glide along your skin. Tonight, I'm just like, right before I go to bed, I like to do some gua sha -ing. And there's videos on how to do this. But you're supposed to like drag it down to your neck. I kind of do the quick version, but at night I'm just like a little lazy, but I just like to do some lymphatic drainage before I go to bed. Bring it down the neck. And also it's just really relaxing and it feels really good. I know I've been saying the word relaxing a lot, but it's really important to me to have a very relaxing night routine. Don't want my cortisol levels too high. I just want to be able to get into bed and like read a couple pages, whatever, and just knock out. And that's typically what happens. Oh. I also need to take my birth control. <laughs> I'm a night taker. And I also take some magnesium as well before bed. I know a lot of people do. I've talked to a lot of people recently. They're like, wait, you do too? Oh, and ashwagandha. Love me some supplements. Yep, I'm just gonna do that. And then I'll put some sort of moisturizer on or like a leave-on mask. So I'm using this Fresh Floral Recovery Calming Mask. It evens your skin tone and texture. I feel like my skin's like kinda just not very even. I literally bought this foundation brush off of Amazon, same like the lip brush. I was just inspired because again, I don't really like putting my long nails in the jar. So I'm just putting a good amount on. I like to go to bed with like lotion slathered all over my face. <laughs> and then I would also brush my teeth, but I will be brushing my teeth. I like to wait till I'm done drinking my tea to do that. Sometimes I finish my tea while I'm still like getting ready for bed. Sometimes I finish my tea once I'm in bed reading, so then I'll get up because I typically have to pee because I have the smallest bladder ever. I pee like twice before I go to bed. <laughs> and um, then I'll brush my teeth. I don't know if you guys care, but again, in depth night routine, I'm just putting all my products away one sec. Blow out all the candles. <sighs> I'm so bad at blowing out these candles, clearly. And then gotta fill up the emotional support water bottle with lots of ice, because sometimes I'll wake up in the middle of the night and I'm so thirsty. I don't know about anybody else, and having that cold ice water next to you is so fire. Water over here, water over here. Got all of my supplements and such. Oh, I'm on my sugar pills now, so. Um, do you guys take these? I always just like pop them, so I know I took it but these are like the ones that don't have the medicine in them, so I just, you know, for knowledge. And then I'm gonna take some, just one magnesium, 
and ashwagandha for relaxation. Mm. That ice cold water just hits it different. All right, I'm gonna put this water bottle on my nightstand over here. Got all the beverages, full lineup here. Gonna turn this light off too. Bringing the tea in here, it's a whole thing. Please tell me I'm not alone in this, you guys. And then it's time to get into bed. Just realized I'm gonna take off my earrings. And right before bed, when I'm like actually about to fall asleep and go to the bathroom and brush my teeth, I'll take my hair out of this bun, brush it out, shake out all the dry shampoo, just rub it all in, and I sleep with my hair down typically. It's just the most comfortable. Um, so yeah, I'm just put my earrings there. Okay, yep, getting in bed like so. Yee! Oh gosh, those Brooklyn and sheets are just magical. I'm gonna turn the white lights on really quick just so you guys can like see me a little bit better so it's not creepy. Um, just cause I'm gonna talk for a second more. <laughs> I just feel like the red was really freaky. Um, so then I'll go on my calendar and look at like my day tomorrow just so I remember like, okay, this is what's happening tomorrow. This is what you're getting ready to sleep for. I don't know. I just like to re remember what I'm doing the next day. And then I'm like, okay, this is what time I need to wake up. So typically on the weekdays, I, so I go on my hatch alarm app. So yeah, my weekdays is on 8.30 a.m. every day. I've just found that having a routine of waking up at 8.30 a.m. every week or every morning is best for me. So I always like to make sure that's on. It literally does like this beautiful um, like sunrise in the morning. So it's just making sure that's on. And then I'll turn my phone on do not disturb because I do not want to be disturbed while I'm reading my book because otherwise I'll get distracted and then go on my phone and then I end up on TikTok swap out my phone for my Kindle here. Right now I'm reading The Last Mrs. Parrish. I'm obsessed with it. I'm not too deep in, but I am seriously obsessed. I always, it's just such a problem. I really only like to read at night. I mean, I like to read in the day. I just never really have time or I'm not thinking about reading. And so I'll be reading and it's so good, but then my eyes start to fall asleep and I literally read like five pages, so. I don't know, but I'm doing some warm weather trips soon, so I feel like this will be perfect to read by the pool or whatever. I'm gonna put some essential oil under my nose. And this is seriously what I do every night. This is like my thing. This is like when my friend Caitlin came to stay with me recently, she was like, I feel like I'm at a retreat right now because <laughs> I'm insane. No, it's just really good for relaxation, so. All right, we're gonna actually turn the red lights back on now that I'm done chatting with you guys. And then I have it set where at night when I hit the top right here, so I touch the top and it also does a red light and it does like peaceful piano music for 30 minutes. It's the night routine I set on the Hatch app. So it just plays really relaxing music while I read. It's usually the perfect amount of time and then I'm asleep. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it's really nice. So. I am going to read and drink my tea, drink my water, then go brush my teeth and go to bed. I hope you guys enjoyed this very specific, in-depth night routine. I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed and got something out of it. And I'll see you guys very, very soon for my next video. Bye.